The timer starts as soon as you lift the cover. You can take as long as you like to memorize the pattern of the cube, but as soon as you put your blindfold on, that's it. No taking it off until you think you're done. My first attempt went over 30 minutes. 30 minutes of sweaty, tachycardic, mind-numbing stress, all for this. I laughed it off, but I was dying inside. This was gonna be so much harder than I expected, but that was attempt number one. There are three reasons why I set myself the goal of solving a 5x5 blindfolded. Firstly, only several hundred people in the entire world have ever officially done this. It's recorded on this thing called the World Cube Association. Go look it up. Secondly, it's my missing piece of the puzzle, no pun intended. There are 17 events on offer by the WCA, all the usual cubic puzzles, and then weird ones like the clock, and then those that require blindfolds. Not many people can say they've achieved all 17, and for years now, all I've been missing is blindfolded five by five. And third reason, well, it's completely insane. Most people can't even solve a regular three by three, let alone a five by five, but blindfolded? It's widely regarded as the most difficult event on the WCA, and that's why I had to do it. But it's so, so hard, like ridiculously hard. And so many times it just didn't feel worth it, especially this solve. Competition attempt number two. Look at the expression on Charlie's face, my judge. He was in agony for me, because even though the cube looked solved, it was two pieces off, two pieces. And you get no credit for coming close. Either you succeed or you get a DNF did not finish. This was DNF number two and my hopes were dashed. I really want to explain to you how solving a 5x5 blindfold is even possible, but it'd be like trying to summarize the history of the entire world in a single video. Okay, maybe I can, but you're gonna have to stay with me. In short, pick any piece, see where that piece needs to go on the cube, and then see where that piece in that spot needs to go, and keep on going until you memorize that entire full sequence, and then in theory, you know how to displace every single piece to their correct spot. Easy, right? But how do you memorize that? Well, you assign a letter to every single piece on the 5x5, and then all you need to do is memorize that string of letters. Okay, those following at home will realize there's something wrong because there's 26 letters, and obviously there's more than 26 pieces on a 5x5. I mean, there's 25 on just like one side, so it's a bit more complex than that, but that's really the heart of it. And to make it easier, we memorize letter pairs. So instead of VWSP, uh, it becomes VW Volkswagen, SP, which for me, a spoon and so I'll just picture a very tiny cute Volkswagen on a spoon and then just repeat it 50 times. It's still hard but it's doable which is exactly what I thought I was doing here until I opened my eyes and saw the disastrous outcome. Attempt 3, DNF 3. Even worse, this was the last opportunity I had to solve five blind for nearly half a year. It was a total punch to the guts because it's, it's like studying super hard for an exam and then being told that you have to retake that exam in six months. Like, what do you do? You've got all this stuff that you've just learned clogging up your brain. Like, do you try and maintain it for the next six months or be willing to forget it and then have to learn from scratch in six months time? I'll tell you what I did. I forgot it. Fast forward to February 2023. I traveled across Australia for this competition, in part because it offered five blind, which most comps don't. I did the hard work of relearning the entire process in the weeks leading up to the day. Attempt four. It was the first event of the day and my poor brain that had only recently gained consciousness was being forced to suffer this ridiculous goal I'd given myself. Honestly, all I kept thinking was, once I achieve this, I'll never have to do this again. I I can't wait for this to be over. And maybe that was my mistake. Five Blind had stopped becoming a challenge. It had become a nuisance. And the outcome showed it. People tried to be nice to me. They said, you'll get it one day. Or what's your best time at home? And the truth was, I'd never even succeeded at home. I came close several times, but I never fully solved it. And at that point, I started to think, Maybe I didn't deserve to solve this. I obviously wasn't good enough. Four DNFs made that clear. But unfortunately, if there's anything I hate more than impossible goals, it's giving up. I told myself I was gonna get an official success by the end of 2023. And so I started practicing. But this time, 
targeted practice, a section at a time. I even recorded myself at home to see what I was doing wrong. I trained myself for hours on my letter pairs, nearly 600 combinations. And not just the easy ones, but like XQ or FJ. I developed rich memory palaces, rooms that could hold dozens of pieces of information each. And guess what? I still got no successes at home. But with every failure, I figured out my area of weakness. I knew what to target, and then the day came. I wanted a success so badly. I started with three reasons. Now I felt like I had a thousand. But I had to focus. Attempt number five. The timer started as soon as I lifted the cover. I started memorizing. Within minutes, I already found myself making mistakes in the memorization, but I knew I had two more opportunities in this competition. So I hit the big red aboard button. DNF number five. I kept calm. The judge brought a new scramble out. Attempt six. It looked okay. My memorization wasn't super quick, but it was steady. And my letter pair images were vivid and clear. ESKR, an Eskimo holding kryptonite. Uh, RFVN, Roger Federer in a van. TBFM, a huge Toblerone bar covered in foam. <laughs> and with that, it was time to start solving. Slow and steady. In my practice, I found that I sometimes turn two inner layers instead of one. And so you can see how careful I was this time. YLAB, SFID. Oh, wait, was that right? Oh no, I suddenly couldn't remember if I'd skipped a letter or done it. My heart immediately started racing, which often led to a fading memory. I knew I couldn't dwell on it, and so I just kept going. Just keep swimming. Eskimo kryptonite, Roger Federer van, Toblerone foam. And I was done, and I didn't feel good about it. At least I had one more attempt. I took my blindfold off, ready to see the mess, and I did it. I got my prize, but it wasn't what I thought it was. You see, it turned out the prize wasn't achieving the solve. The five blind success was just the carrot on a stick. I mean, yeah, I, I got the carrot, but really it got me to a new place where the real reward was an increased resilience. Like because of five blind, my determination, my character has grown stronger. My, my love for language and words has grown. My memory has grown. My ability to use mind palaces and higher levels of processing. Failure had laughed in my face over and over, but every time I said to it, I'm gonna try again, I gained something far more valuable than a Rubik's Cube solve. Because when I look back, I now see that my success started the moment I first lifted that cover.